Okay, we are back for more Dead to Rights. Will I be able to survive the torture? Well, it involves tapping buttons quickly, so odds are no. No. It's almost no chance. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. Seriously, do you know that Nintendo got sued over having a, a mini game in Mario Party where you had to uh, twist a controller knob around very quickly? <laughs> Yeah. Oh, screwed up your hand, off, and it destroyed your controllers. Yeah. Which Mario Party was that? I don't know, two or three. Yeah. They literally got sued. Come on, you got this, Hoguru. Uh, so I'm just saying, if I uh, get this controller destroyed, there's a non-zero chance. I'm going to blame, uh, blame Andre Emerson and demand he replace my controller. <laughs> ah, that hurt. Now, if you just um, fill this thing with beer, we'd be in business. My day was good, potato salad. Thank you for asking. Uh, Jack Slate, you're the worst. But that's why we Fun love you. Stuff at work. I'm home. It's my what? Weekend. There's a pupper. There's a pupper. Who could have possibly known? The next two days off. All right. I got you, Brian. <laughs> Mask. No, I got it. It's clear what you meant. Over what? Here, a puppy? Finally. What'd you do, boy? Stop Man, the day allows you to turn the button tapping off. That's amazing. Oh yeah. Get me down from here. They can also turn off the uh, quick time event times. It's fantastic. Good boy. Hello, Aww. Logan. Hi, hey, Logan. What's you? up? Well, I saw it quickly, Brian. You didn't delete it instantaneously. All right, time for some kung fu fighting. That's right. We're back to beating people up with fisticuffs. You might be saying, why do these guys suddenly not have guns? And I would say that the game didn't really think about that at all. What the hey? I mean, button tapping is pretty much okay. always one of them, isn't it? Oh yeah, totes. That was pretty good. Ow. Why was this allowed to be put in a video game? <laughs> Wesley, now you have that song stuck in my head. Aww. Hey, where's my gerbil that's in? Don't know. Can't be far. I wonder what happened there. We'll be on the plushie cam the minute we find him. I don't know if we still own him. We might not. You may have uh, donated him to a less fortunate pe uh, person who doesn't have a gerbil that sings Kung Fu Fighting. Pupper. Come on, Popper, I need you to take somebody out. Can you do that for me? Yeah, Marissa, that's my problem, too. I'm often working when we're on the streams. I try to listen to the stream, but, like, uh, I think today when a, a Horror King stream started, I was driving home from work. So, I feel like you don't need to wear these vests if you work in a warehouse as much. They're really more for people who work in construction. They're going to be around vehicles and outside. Uh, no, in warehouses you do need to. Work. Really? Yeah, a lot of warehouses do require them because of fascinating. The... Oh right, because every warehouse now has like fifty dollies driving around at all yeah. times. Yeah. Meg, I'm fa I'm not used to the modern state of mega warehouses. All right, where's my pupper? What Come software on. do you use for streaming? Uh, a little thing called OBS, the Open Broadcasting System. Of course you can use Shadow while fist fighting. He's a good dog. He just can't bring you back any guns because they don't have any. Oh, thank God we finally got the key. Burger King is asking about Little Nightmares 2 pushing over a tree. Pushing over a tree. I doubt there was any faster way to do it. Uh, you just gotta shove that tree over to bridge the gap. I do remember that part, and it was awesome. Although every part of that game is awesome. And you All might right. say to me, I could have listened to Horror King's stream at the very least while driving home. But I feel like, one, that's distracted driving, and two, uh, I didn't notice that the Wi-Fi at work had gotten, that I was uh, attached to at work had gone down no! for like a week. So... 
until my month rolls over, I'm basically out of data on my phone. Oof. Yeah. Seriously, though. Uh, the main thing determining whether something is a bad brawler or not is when you throw dudes, do they hit other dudes? Now, if you excuse me, I have to flee like a coward and look for some health around here. Because I'm almost out of health. Oh, that's weird. Then you might have been doing it wrong, Horror King, because I don't remember taking it very long to push over the tree. I can't tell you what you're doing wrong, because again, uh, I will have to check the stream. There are possibly three different ways to pull and push over a tree. Oh. He maybe needed to leave and come back. Oh. <coughs> you have... You have done a disservice to all thinking humans is with it, that. Is it like a really story intensive game? What? Little Nightmares 2 is a really story intensive oh, game. I assume that was a pun and it didn't make any sense. No, there's about to be a pun. Oh, okay. Yes, no, there's quite a bit of story in there. Yeah, so maybe it was a different branch of the story he needed to be. Ah. Uh, I don't approve of anything you're doing. <laughs> All right, Popper, you can kill them. No! There we go. Suddenly, Jack's back in the Dad, game. I will agree that it's maybe time for the uh, uh, Walking Dead TV show. Oof. But, you know, that's my own opinion. Although I had that opinion in what season was it? One. 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 Uh, my feeling is that it should have ended the minute they became so bad at writing that... Uh, they included what I describe as the worst plan that anyone has ever had in the history of fiction or real life. Just like everybody got together and it's like, how can we deal with all these zombies in a quarry? Well, what I have the worst idea anyone, anyone has ever had about anything ever, says Rick. And everyone's like, yes, we should all risk our lives doing your unbelievably stupid plan. You have to hit square quickly to get in a grab, right? Or you can just tap B to uh, do a counter throw. There you go. If you do it fast enough, which I never do. Horror King, you, you think, uh, you, you're saying, would you stop with the terrible puns? No, uh, I would not stop with the terrible puns. It's not going to happen. Uh, I have begged and borrowed and pleaded and stolen and no. Nope. Oh my god, these guys. I didn't even know who I was punching at that time. By the way, you see what an ordeal this has been? I'm playing on the easiest difficulty level. Oh wait, I have a, I have a pupper. Ah, oh, damn it, sorry. Was he eating McNuggets? Don't know. Damn. Although you're the second person to talk about McNuggets today. Yeah, that pupper grabbing people always looks adorbs. So I, I anticipate just well, that's good to know, Delbert. A, a trip to Whole Foods at some point. Okay. Because they sell those gluten-free little chicken nugget things that I love so much. Nice. Hey, as long as Lenny James is still on the show, I'll be happy to turn it on. I love me some Lenny James. I've always had. But, uh, you know, there's not a lot to recommend it other than that. Well, and what's his name on show, too? I don't know who that is. Jeffrey Morgan. Oh, yeah, obviously. Everybody loves Jeffrey Dean Morgan. Playing a crazy villain. Really? What is happening here? Hopper, what are you doing? Thank you. <laughs> okay. What happens to everyone, Oh, would you? S oh, he is dead. Okay. I'm like, Terrible I'm joke. Go for it, Horking. Oof. Wait a minute. Oh, okay, you can't squeeze behind here. I was worried that was placed in a place you couldn't get to. It wasn't. That's insane, Delbert. Seriously? What has happened to that show? Okay. Here we go. We got this. No, we don't. Wait, somebody's got a gun! Oh, thank God. Dracula is more creative at night. Things are exciting. Oh, okay, I got oh. it. Yeah, it okay. took him way too long, y'all. 
That's right, I'm shooting an unarmed man. Because obviously I'm shooting an unarmed man. I'm actually finding shooting... See? I did it! I don't know if you guys saw that, but I, when I got down to one bullet, you automatically uh, execute the guy. What? Okay, that's maybe the most hilarious of those takedowns. Oh, finally! I have a decent gun and these guys are dying. Lincoln is actually better as a good gun. Good to know. Hey, if Jeffrey Dean Morgan has a job, I'm happy. All right. Here's Here. my question, and no one answered it because I haven't seen it yet. Did he come back for the end of Superman? I can't imagine that he would have. I know. There's no way he came back for the end of Superman. I know. There you go, Brian. Come on! It's not even raining anymore. Why are you still doing this now? Now I'm closing my eyes and trying to remember how much of the rest of the game is outdoors. And it's like, honestly, not a lot. So I think this is going to be fine, but it's very annoying. Derek Lynn! Oh, it's dirt on the bottom of his shirt, Marissa? I honestly thought he was wearing a crop top. What are we talking about? He said the bottom of his shirt is so dirty, it looks like he's wearing a crop top. Oh, yeah, it does, doesn't it? Yeah. I honestly I never thought, noticed that. I didn't think it was dirt, I just thought he was wearing a crop top. Sorry. I thought he was being the ultimate 90s guy. Again, why are they dressing as clowns and mercenaries now? No, no friends? No. Ouch. You're welcome. Ow! Popper! Popper, popper. Oh, he's not. I thought he was charged up. My bad. Sorry, popper. There we go. Why can I not attack him with a popper? There we go. Rawr. Oh, you're so cute, buddy. And I got the key? Thanks, game. Alright. It's hard to tell if it's supposed to be blood or dirt, but let's assume blood. From that time he got shot recently. Although he's not bandaged at all. So. Oh, the clown. By the way, this is all the same level as when I was going and fighting Longshoreman X. It's famously not only the longest level in the game, but a level that is four times longer than it needs to be and massively wears out the patience of anyone playing the game. Like, if someone were to come up with paperwork proving that, like, this level is when most people uh, quit playing Dead to Rights, I'd be like, yeah, that, that sounds about right. I would not, like, I love the game. I wouldn't blame anybody. Sorry, pal. Ah, good. Whew. Okay. Kablamo. Oh. I missed the extra body armor. Oh well. Alright. Good luck, potato salad. What are you uh, modeling, if I may ask? Very cool, Horror King. I cannot wait to hear your thoughts on the plot of the game. Gosh darn it. This is problematic. The third to last level is also in Call of Duty long? That's... It's pretty bad, yeah. Not as bad as this one, which again, fully has a boss in it. There's no reason that I shouldn't be in Chapter 9 now. Okay, Jack is failing to target people for some reason. I don't really understand. But the uh, puffer's getting the job done. Hey, and just in case they're watching, happy birthday to my friend who... What was that game that we were playing for your birthday? I don't remember. Oh, Alone in the Dark. Uh, who uh, who was the friend that uh, I first saw play Alone in the Dark. Yes, it's their birthday now. Should I have continued Alone in the Dark in their honor? Maybe, but we were pretty stuck Alone in the Dark, and I don't think anybody wants to watch me get 
super confused. So for the record, I ran downstairs, then a bunch of guys respawned upstairs. But they couldn't figure out how to catch me? So I had to go back upstairs to kill them. No, Potato, caffeine is never a gamble for me. Caffeine always just hypes me up. Woo! Which, as I mentioned before in the stream, I believe, has, has caused issues as my uh, mother and grandmother both had that weird, like, biological thing where caffeine would put them to sleep. So okay, when so I was I a child right. and couldn't sleep, they'd be like, have a cup of tea. Really strong tea. And I'd be like vibrating as a child and unable to sleep, and they're like, tea always puts us to sleep. Oh. One. Two, three, four, and five. That went pretty well, actually. No. Unless a guy's targeted in red, you can't send uh, your beloved shadow to hit him. These guys are worse than mimes. Jack Slate in the British period drama, Upstairs, Downstairs, think about it. What? That would be delightful. I'm not gonna lie. That would probably be the best. My last bullet I killed him with. Weirdly proud of that. Alright. Lock picking. Let's hope I don't have to fight bonus enemies this time. The key with this thing is... Careful. You have to hit it a bunch earlier than you think you have to hit it. Both little nightmares on the channel, eh? That's a really good idea, Horror King. I love those games. And streaming them back to back would be very cool. Here, pupper, pupper, pupper. I bet you got some guys I want you to murder for me. Oh, you can't do it because he's inside a building. I don't know what you're trying to say there, but I approve. I was, I was talking about puppers. Puppers are the best! Okay. Really, Marissa? That's when crazy, Kato Sal. You can't sleep, you listen to podcasts about topics you know nothing about entertainment. That would have the opposite effect on me. Totes. I, I tend to watch TV shows that I've, I've seen, seen a eight thousand to nine hundred times. times. But not too many times. Right. Let's not too many times I have to switch it up again. Are we good? Is that all of them? What were you talking about, Leslie? Boom. Someone made an anime co uh, concept as a companion to Girls in Panzer. Ooh, fancy. Cool. It's called Boys and Love Zoog? That would be Jet Fighters. Oh, okay. Neat. Yeah. Well, not Jack uh, Fighter, so yeah. World War II dog fighting. Yeah. Basically the same thing that guys uh, uh, are providing air support with World War II planes. Cool, but Wesley. Well, Marissa, then maybe you'll enjoy watching me play Little Nightmares. And you might be thinking, weren't you already in this location, Hoguru? And I was. This is a, a reused location. Actually, Brian, I can very much imagine Jack doing all of this with a cat, because cats are awesome and fun. One hundred percent. They love murder. If if Jack had an ocelot instead of a uh, uh, husky, this would not only be the same game, it might largely be a better game. Dogs are awesome. Cats are better. That's true. Yes. Whew. Kablamo, my friend. Kablamo. Hey, Puppet, what's up? Hey, Puppet. Now, no, uh, no shade on the game here, but has anyone else really, uh, lost the thread of what we were supposed to be doing at this point in the plot? Like, I know Hildy was grabbed by Fahuk Abdul, who then, uh, dunked you in a tank, but he was put in a uh, in a tank and told to go see the boss. She was put in a car and told to go see the boss by Hukup Duel X amount of time ago. I didn't even know that Jack knows how long ago it was. Ah, they got me. Oh, we'll just continue. 
So, like, why would she still be anywhere near here? Is my point. I've not been using my uh, slow time abilities enough, and that's on me. Hopper! Oh wait, my Hopper's not fully charged. That's a surprise. Pancor Jackhammer? Pancor Jackhammer. Ow! Jerk. Okay. Locked. Gosh, I wonder if there's a key around here on someone's dead body. Alright. Doing great, puppet. Alright. That does sound awesome. Uh, Elton John and David Bowie. Boom. I think the thing I like most about uh, David Bowie's son, Duncan Jones... Zowie Bowie, if you prefer, but Duncan Jones, uh, is that uh, he's had a like a solid career as a filmmaker. He's made like six movies now, but he still like bills himself as the person who made Moon, because it's like that's how good Moon is. Like, yeah, I'm the one who made Moon. You know that movie Moon? I did that. Like, respect, dude. Hildy. He coincidentally did find Hildy. Maybe you should have just started shooting instead of yelling, Jack. Okay, well that's not the right amount of gun. There we go. You know what? You're getting puppy. There we go. Okay, and one more. We should be done or done adjacent. Oh, we were done this room. Yay! Come on, Jack! You better follow that limousine on foot. A totally sane thing to do. Are you ready for the big Hello, surprise? Hey, Kayla Roo. The game's twist is about to happen, so everybody get ready. We're going to find out what the plot of this game was actually about this whole time. Nothing I know. Dying Light is the best, the worst game you've ever played? Why didn't you like it? Dying Light's great. Except for that psychic journey of self-discovery in the third act. Ugh. Alright, here it comes. That's right, a guy's trying to run him over with a truck. And I don't know if you've ever been anywhere near a truck. But they're very loud, so the idea that a dog had to tell him that there was a truck coming is kind of amazing. The truck spilled its contents like a biblical revelation. This was what? all about gold, money, the root of all evil. Don't know if a hook got that sort of treasure, but hopefully there'd be more answers wherever this truck was headed. Oh my god. That's right, it was a truck full of gold, everyone. Gold! Oh, we're sorry to hear that, Kaylaru. We hope you have a better day tomorrow. And a good night's out with sleep. Some answers or dead. <laughs> From the outside, it looked like an old factory eking out its last days before it crumbled into a pile of rust. But on the Aww, inside, the place Kaylaru. was pure gold. Literally. <laughs> Jack. Oh, Time you're the to worst. This place up. Yep, Marissa. And if anyone wondered why I had to write literally the longest video game review that's ever been written about this video game that line is a is a perfect example when's my pupper going to be ready to kill have a good night Kaylaru alright human shield thank you pupper such a good boy. Oh, Jack. I don't think you did see your comment about the House of Athens. 100% didn't. What happened? Super focused. And I think Delbert, if I remember correctly, what Delbert said. Uh, Boom. Hold on. Science. Everybody loves scrolling. Uh, you hear it more and more. Theories based on seeing the video they released on Twitter. 
They released a new video on Twitter? When? Today? Well, just tell me where the thing is. Don't describe it to me. I'll watch the video. If there's new info in there, I'll, uh... Uh, if there's a new video, I'll absolutely cover it. Are you kidding me? What? What's to this? Pupper. Uh, which co question was that? If it was about... Uh, the animals from, uh, Jolly, then I did. Boom. I 100% did answer your question on Twi on Discord. Alright, let's wrap up this room. Wow. I thought I was uh, back to having my shotgun, but I was not. Come on, three shotgun blasts? On the you have a vital question. I love Go vital for questions. It, hit me. Your questions are always very amusing. To use the vernacular, hit me with that rhythm stick. Uh, no, I own it though. I own it, and then my PSP destroyed my hands, and I forswore ever playing, uh, what do you call it, uh, more PSP uh, games. But now that there are PSP emulators, I will play the Dead to Rights game. Boom. Done and done. Wait, but then London Bridge went on to say this was the PSP. No, it's not. Oh. Anyway, uh, I have been the Hidden Object Guru, and this was Dead to Rights. Chapter 8, Part B. Uh, we're going to be back here for Chapter 9, A Boatload of Trouble. That's not what it's called. That was what Chapter 8 was called. I don't know. G Golden Them There Hills? Whatever it's called. <laughs> we'll see you back here for that in the next item on the playlist. But until then, au revoir.